morning, everybody. I'm Broward County Commissioner Stacy Ritter. We are here this morning at uh, Westside Bagels in Coral Springs, 5906 Coral Ridge, Coral Ridge Drive in the Public Shopping Center, which is just north of the Sawgrass. The phone number here, as always, is 954-755-4600. Um, on a personal note, it's great to be back. <laughs> I spent the last six weeks recuperating from surgery, and uh, although I'm not back full-time, it is nice to get back in the swing of things. I, um, there was there was a point like at the second week of my recuperation where I really thought I could stay home all day long <laughs> and watch Criminal Minds, which is on A and E like all day long. But I realized by the third week that I really needed to get get back into the swing of things and do um, do what I love to do, which is the job of being a Broward County Commissioner. So here we are today uh, on uh, this brand new June day. By the way, I'm 51 today. Um, so I am now in my 50s, officially, in my 50s, um, and we're back in the swing of things. So today's guest is Sheila Smith, who is the president and CEO of 211 Broward. Um, 211Broward.org is where you can reach them. We're going to talk about what 211 is. First of all, thanks for being here. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> A lot of people um, don't know where out west is. <laughs> so, especially I found in, in uh, Broward County government, a lot of people are like, you want me to go where? In where? In the so, northwest corner. <laughs> so thank you for being here this morning. And we're going to talk about 211. And there's a fly. Um, tell me what 211 is. Uh, 211 is really your first call for help. It is the phone number that you can dial simply by dialing 211 on your phone 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and it's a place where you can get connected with agencies that provide support and health and human services. We also provide a lot of listening support and counseling and helping people to work through the problems that they're facing today. Um, 211 is not a Brad County agency. It's not. You are a. We're a private 501c3 organization, but we do receive um, a great deal of financial assistance and support from Broward County as well as from the Broward County Children's Services Council, United Way, and Florida Department of Children and Families, and other small foundations and, and, uh, and others. How long have you been in existence? We have been in existence since 1995. You know what I find? The, one of the, what I was telling Sheila off camera that one of the reasons we're doing this is because there's so many organizations out there that people in Broward County just don't know exist. Mm -hmm. And it was my feeling that 211 is one of them. And you shared that feeling <laughs> that not enough people know that they can reach out and simply dial three numbers on their telephone. Right, right. Um, we are we are such a unique organization because we are really the gateway to health and human services. We have a database of 4,000, well actually 4,100 different programs and services that are available across Broward County. Who would have ever even have imagined that there were that many to begin with? But if you're in need and you're having, you're facing a problem or you're having difficulty, how do you possibly connect with the appropriate one of those 4,100 different programs? There's a very easy way to do it. You just dial 211 and a counselor will talk with you about what your issues are, what your problems are, not only yourself but your family members. Um, and really try to work through making sure that you're connected with the supports and services that are really going to be able to help you. How did you get to 211? Myself personally? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, president and CEO of a big nonprofit non organization which serves, services thousands of people in Broward County. How, what's your background? Um, very long background in health and human services and nonprofit organizations. I have run uh, multi service community based agencies. I've worked as a consultant to help developing nonprofits get off the ground. A lot of background in grants development and fundraising, and, and really just a passion for um, making things better for people who are struggling. And how long have you, how long have you been with 211? I've been there two and a half years. Oh, so, and where did you come from? Um, upstate New York. No, I mean before, well, yes, that, yeah, yeah that, yeah. <laughs> Which I'm sure you're glad you're here, right. especially in January and February. <laughs> exactly. Um, Work-wise, uh, the last couple of things I did were in Palm Beach County. I facilitated the homeless continuum of care planning process there, brought in um, several million dollars a year in HUD funding for community agencies in Palm Beach, and also ran a residential treatment facility for homeless um, people who are also addicted. So what, what was so attractive about 211 that made you decide to make the move? Um, I really love organizations that are unique, that, that fill a place in the community that, that no one else does. Um, it's a tremendous agency, um, fabulous board of, the, of directors, uh, wonderful staff. The quality of services that we offer I think are second to none and 
we are really in a place where we're not serving a niche community. It's not a segment of, of the population. We are so unique because we're for every single person in Broward County. It doesn't matter what your income level, what your problem area. Um, we all know somebody with substance abuse or mental health concerns. Um, we all know people who may have had a child born with special needs. A neighbor may be struggling with foreclosure or loss of a job. Um, it's really for everybody in Broward County. And our goal is to make sure that we're as recognizable as 911 is for emergencies because we really should be the place people think of first to call when they have any kind of health and human service problem. And you can reach 211 um, by either cellular or landline, correct? Correct. Is, um, is, simply dial 211. Is it a free phone call on a cell phone? It is free. Mm -hmm. Just like 911 Just one night, like 911. So if I, um, do you know how many people you service in Broward? Uh, we are, for the third straight year, over 110,000. Wow. And that is double five years ago. And you can imagine that today's economic conditions have certainly contributed to that. How many counselors do you, and when you say counselors, are they social workers? Are um, they? They are actually degree. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's <a big> <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are degree people. Um, they're professionals in the health and human services field. They have a minimum of a bachelor's degree, but we also have MSWs and even one PhD. Um, they are extensively trained and kind of the gold standard for our training is that every person who picks up a phone has to be able to appropriately manage um, an active suicide call because wow. we also do have callers who are either contemplating suicide or might have already taken steps to actively go through with the suicide attempt. So how, do they, how are they trained? Are, is there are there organizations that do training for organizations such as 211? Um, we've actually constructed an in-house training program that we used as the first step in training, and it's an 80-hour training. It's very wow. extensive. After they complete the training program, they have to be supervised on the phones by a manager um, and making sure that they're able to handle the calls on their own. We also have requirements for ongoing monthly trainings to further develop skills and give new information and resources. And they have to complete ongoing trainings to retain employment. So it's a continuous process. How many counselors do you have? Um, we have 27 FTEs. Um, some of them, of course, That's are full-time full -time employees. Full -time employees. <laughs> some of them are full-time, some are part-time. Time, some are on call and come in as needed because you can't ever be short counselors. So, um, we have actually 47 staff agency wide. All right, we'll be right back and we're going to talk about what happens when you dial 211 on your telephone. We'll be right back.